Nuno, quite incredible performance. You must be so proud. Very, very proud. It was a good, very good performance. Very good performance. And more than the performance was the the work that the players had. They run, they run. It's very difficult to play against City. It's very, very difficult. It's, they are so good, so good. They move the ball so fast. It requires a lot of, of high speed in running. So the boys work very hard and it was good. Was that part of the game plan to soak up that pressure in the first half and at uh, least second half and then hit them on the counter with a Dharma at the end? Um, it's the game when you when you have a game you try to to make a game plan but uh, after the circumstances of the game was dictate which what what you have to do was not planned was something that we had to to make decisions during the game it was not planned that not Roman had uh, uh, a problem in the beginning of the game so after that he's all, always trying to to find solutions helping the team realizing that what the team needs in each moment that's why we put Matt and all these things. Yeah. And it could have been more as well, three really good chances in the first half. Yeah, we started well the game. We started well. We were very, very organized. And we had we had uh, two good chances, two good chances. We must finish the action. We must finish the action. But it was good. But the first half was all about the how the team was organized, how the team worked. We didn't, we didn't concede too many chances in the first half of to City. So that that was good. That was good. They worked very hard. I know it's obviously a great team performance, but Adama playing it right wing back and then moving up and scoring two great goals. And he must be so pleased the way he played in two positions. Yeah, he played good. He played good, and he he was in the limits. He went to the limit, the limit of of his of his strengths. Uh, he's, he did well, very well. Not only him, all all the players did did well. Everybody. We have to congratulate the players today. They did fantastic. You know, given City had got two extra days to prepare, and you'd obviously been to Turkey. When when you missed those chances in the first half, did you think? That was probably the chance to win the game goal. No, what I thought was that uh, we had to try and search for another uh, chance to what maintain the, the balance of the team, maintain the organization of the team, knowing that it's so hard to to to, to control City. So so hard. They, they are so good. The idea of football that they had at Pepe's is circulating the ball, the speed of the ball. Of course, you are frustrated, but you know that you have to, to keep on going. And the beginning is how we defend, how organized you are, and trying to search for a, for a chance. It was good. Nuno, can I just ask how, how satisfying is Sorry? it? How satisfying is it for you as a manager when you see players execute a game plan so, so well like that? Particularly, you know, after you know, your Europa League games on a Thursday and the challenges you face during the week. Of course, I'm, I'm happy and I'm satisfied because this is how we work. Every every game is is on on game plan, and all the games we had 17 games already this season. We always compete under our game plan. Sometimes we perform better than other days, but the motivation to compete and prepare to the game is always there. So this is what makes me more proud. Having a fantastic group of players that want to to grow and and and, and they believe the way they, that we work. Now we have a challenge in front of us because we have to sustain this level of performance. We have to sustain it. And this is the hardest part in football. Is when you perform well, you have to know what's going on the end. And we perform on Thursday. Today again, now we have international break. But after we have to prepare ourselves again. But I'm proud because of the players, the way they prepare themselves to compete. Then the game plan, how they execute it. You have a fantastic team in front of you. Sometimes it's not so 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 possible. But always trying and believing it's it's a philosophy. Thank you. You know, you've talked about the game plan there. Now, I'm just wondering, when you came to decide what to do in this game, was there anything you've noticed was maybe different from last last season when you played City? Any any areas you thought you could exploit them in today that they maybe haven't been able to exploit in the past? Anything different about them? Different, of course, because every, every the, the football is evolution. Football is evolution. City is not the same city that it was last season. 
so you have to search, search and try to find the, the right points uh, and the solutions and solutions for it. Um, areas to exploit. When you play against City, first you, what you have to, to think about is how you stop them from playing, how you control them of creating chances. This was the beginning of everything. How did you, how, how did you set about doing that today? What did you think that you needed to do in particular to stop that today? The way the players did it, they run like crazy. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.